Will your students remember and internalize the education you have given them, or, stand confused in the shadow of others who do? Unsure? Of where to start? Don't worry. You're not alone. The original Bloom's taxonomy shows how the student's learning increases as you go from remembering to creating. There are four strategies to assist a student in moving their knowledge from their short-term memory to their long-term memory. Velcro learning is where you connect to something the learner already knows. For example I taught how to draw animals by beginning with farm animals because my students are rural. Drawing from the past is when you connect previous knowledge and experiences. For example I based the animal drawings on the farm animals and had them tell me what they knew first. Repeat is not just repeating the information but allowing the students to repeat the information in several different differentiated learning opportunities. For example, I taught several different farm animal lessons. Each one allowed students to focus on the same animals but in different medias and projects. Finally, positive feedback. This is not just once in a while but often and consistently praising your students on their accomplishments. I mark down who I have complimented to help. To use the Bloom's taxonomy in the 21st century classroom Andrew Churches has developed the Bloom's digital taxonomy. Remembering, understanding and applying are the beginning stages of the taxonomy. This is where students often begin but it is not always the best starting point. Analyzing, evaluating and creating are the last three sections of the taxonomy and this is where the students get the most information. Crockett. Jukes and churches suggest that if our goal is to cover all of the spectrum then we should focus on creating, to ensure that our students hit all of the sections. From what I can see the difference between the new and old Bloom's taxonomy are minimal the new suggests that you may start anywhere whereas the old suggests that you start from the bottom. The new also focuses on how learning can be developed through technology development and fluency. To create your own art using apps on a phone, tablet or computer here are a few suggestions. These allow you to create artworks so that you can get to the top tier of balloons. Just as the text suggests I have found that creating is the best area to focus on for student development. This may be because I am an art teacher but I have seen my students respond well to creating and doing project-based work compared to worksheets.